Hi everybody, it's Joanna. Welcome to the channel. This is Color and Chat with Joanna. If it's your first time here, I just want to say welcome. And if you are returning, you're a very brave soul and I'm very proud of you and I'm very happy to see you or hear you again. Anyway, okay, so today I know I've talked about this and I have the last two weeks have been so chaotic. You know, it's it's just like we make plans and God just laughs. Um, so I wanted to uh, uh, start coloring on a darling image from, of course, the book that everybody's coloring from, Joanna's new book, Worlds of Wonder. Um, I just love it. And when I saw this particular image, uh, I think you guys, if you if you have been with me for a little bit of time, you remember that um, I uh, uh, was inspired to do very um, muted sort of an antique color by a menu that I saw. My husband is an aviator. I'm telling you, and, and a hoarder. I mean, like an aviation hoarder. Thank God. He he hoards two things. He hoards aviation memorabilia. And I kind of do too. Because I think it's so much fun to look back on some of those old boarding passes. And look at all the travels and the places we went to on a whim. I mean, literally like a Thursday, we had tickets last minute tickets to go see David Letterman and I know you guys he's like pre Stephen Colbert anyway but David Letterman um was always just oh we just loved him and we watched him every night and my dog was actually auditioned at one point my dog Arthur to be on the David Letterman show because he did a stupid pet trick um, unfortunately, I got the flu and I couldn't travel. And so, uh, that was the only reason we didn't make it. But David Letterman sent a fabulous swag bag. It had a business card that actually turned into a kitchen sponge and a t-shirt that I still have to this day because it was such a good, well-made, thick, heavy t-shirt. Anyway, all these memories come to fly. But when I saw this... I thought of a very, very particular menu, and I promised I was going to show them to you. Well, today is the day. I am showing them to you today. Hold on one second. Let me just get this little pile out here. Okay. When you flew back in the day, the Concord, you got a lot of swag with them, too. Now, of course, some of the first class flights today on some of the airlines, oh my gosh, they practically give you like a weekend in a bag. But for us, it was so special. We got actual real leather passport and ticket holders. And oh yeah, this is my husband's pilot logbook. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there. He is not organized at all. And then you would get um, a fabulous little packet look there's see there's my husband <laughs> he did not fly the concord okay we flew on the concord not he didn't fly a particular concord but this is this is long-suffering cute husband um uh giving me the hate look leave me alone i'm working look and then <clears throat> Like I said, he was a hoarder of everything. So he was always saving stuff. But you would get these wonderful stationary things with real water paper envelopes and and papers to write letters to whoever you wanted to. Um, at the time, we were going to see a space shuttle, so that thing got thrown in there. He's crazy like that. Anyway, so these were really cool. Because every time you flew, you got, you know, packets, and he never, oh my god, he'd always slip them in the bag. It drove me crazy. So, um, and then, of course, you got, you know, a satchel to hold all of your memorabilia in. But here's the menus. The menus are what I really wanted to talk to you about, because they are a 
big deal. Um, it's a big deal because these menus and, and, and us as colorists, you guys, we, I know you're my people and you would appreciate this. Um, hold on. There's more than one in this sleeve. Let me get it out for you. I'm so nervous even touching them, I swear. But look, look at how beautiful. These are all hand drawn and hand painted. None of this is printed. They didn't mass print anything for the Concord, particularly their beautiful menus. And would you like to know what you were offered to eat? <laughs> this might make you a little hungry. Warning, the following menu will make you cringe. <clears throat> of course, it was all in French. And it started out with caviar and went to Medallion de Foie Gras. Foie Gras was... John loves Foie Gras. I mean, he really has such a palate. I think that's why I like him. Because I can cook some of the most unusual things. Last night, I, I cooked last night. Because I didn't cook anything the night before. We kind of tacoed it. Like, you know, we went all trailer about it. it we were disgusting. Hold on a minute. I need a quick sip of coffee. I feel like I'm <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice every other day here lately. It, it's just ridiculous. Mm. Let me try to get the glare down on the lighting people. I'm going to work on it. Okay. This was of course appetizers, cocktails. Um they <laughs> I mean everything. <laughs> Gin <laughs> gin, vodka, porto bourbon, um, vermouth, uh, they made their own punch, which by the way, yeah, we don't even want to talk about the punch. Um, there's actually a little spot or two here because we were, <laughs> we were eating canopies while we're reading the menu. The wine list was incredible, incredible. And the paper, of course, is the finest cardstock you could imagine. But I wanted to share these with you um, because the images were just so beautiful. And um, I, 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 when we saw these menus, I said, wait a minute, I need to do with my uh, watercolor oil pastels, this image, you know, because it has that same kind of antique -y with a little bit of steampunky, with a little bit of charm, sort of, uh, um, and you can see here, this was 19th of October, 1977. This, the, they actually dated each menu for each flight. And every menu was different for every flight. So, um, yeah, so Concord knew how to make you feel special. And here is, are you ready? <laughs> Look at all of the artwork, people. Is that not beautiful? And the paper that it is on is, I mean, the most beautiful watercolor paper. Very, very, very thick. Uh again the menu here is pretty much the same because you know it's from the same flight and but isn't it just beautiful i i said i have to show you this because the artwork um and there they had their little stamp air france so uh i wanted to share these with you and also you know share a little bit of our lives uh i really I love to talk about and share my memories and my travels and our travels um, because we were, <laughs> we found ourselves in the most interesting places and in the most interesting situations. And some of them were funny and some of them were sad. We were actually invited to a funeral while we were on vacation. Um, the couple that we met, uh, they were burying their grandmother and um it was in madrid and sadly she didn't have anyone to come 
and and uh, help her with her funeral. And nobody could get there because of the you know the cost and the travel. And so we, um, yeah, we we went to the funeral and we took her to lunch afterwards, and we learned all about her grandmother, who was. Oh my God, what a character. Somebody needs to find this lady and talk to her and get a couple of glasses of wine in her because that grandmother could be a movie. She could be, and I'm not talking about like Hallmark movie of the week. I'm talking about scanty movie. She hooked up with politicians and um, got into some really interesting situations, but but lived to be a hundred and God bless her. And I hope she's resting peacefully. So anyway, um, I wanted to share these with you. I wanted you to see all of the detail. Look at, look at, look at this. Every single person. Is this not so beautiful? I mean, everything hand done. And so somebody put a lot of work into this and was paid probably pretty handsomely by Air France. And I wanted them to know if you happen to be out there, if you happen to be somebody who knows about these menus and how they were prepared and how they were lovingly and painstakingly created, I am cherishing them and I am enjoying them very, very much so. Um, I have them in a plastic sleeve right now and I have them in a memory book with, you know, acid-free zipper protection and everything. I would love to frame them. The only thing that keeps me from framing them is the actual menu inside because the menu is as charming as the artwork and the food. I mean, the food was ridiculous. I mean, where do you get escargot and caviar and foie gras and, and you know, I mean, where, where, where do you get that on an airplane? I mean, forget it. You know what we get on an airplane now, right? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, nothing. Even first class, you're getting stuff wrapped in cellophane. So, um, but uh, this was when flight was really, to me, in the 70s and the 80s, it was at its most charming and at its finest. And I am so glad that John kept these um, so that I could share them with you. And um, yeah, yeah, I just, I wanted you to see everything that, um, you know, that, that Concord really, really did their best. They really did. They wanted to do it right. And I appreciated that so much about them. So anyway, um, that is what is going to happen with this girl right here. I am going to try to recreate, hold on, one of these balloons on this balloon. I'm inspired by them and I just don't know exactly what colors I'm going to go for, but I think you can see the similarity and I think that you'll appreciate it. I hope you'll appreciate it. I will appreciate it doing it because I'm terribly inspired. However, if, if you want to come along with me on the ride, you know, um, let's do some coloring. I have uh, my Brunfunors, Brunfunor, the pencils, the Scheisla pencils, the German pencils, uh, where all the names are in uh, something Asian. I don't know if it's Japanese or Korean or Chinese. I'm going to get them translated. I want to do the whole sheet with the Brunfunners and, and get, get these names of the colors translated. I think it would be so much fun. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so we're going to do some Brunfunners and we're going to do some pastels. And we're going to try to, to capture um, a little bit of the beauty that is in the menus of the Concord Jet and God bless her soul. May she rest in peace and let's hope they bring it back someday, you know, because it was just 
the most incredible piece of aviation. And I know after the whole Scotland thing, it was a disaster. It took down the entire, practically the entire airline. But, um, I, you know, I think it's time to bring them back. I really do. I mean, how many people can say they went mock, you know, um, in flight, mock, you know. So it was exciting. And I thought that you guys might appreciate it because I know that you like art. So that is where I am headed today. And I want to get them back in their sleep before I spit on them or breathe wrong on them or something. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm, I, 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 I want to do something really special with them. Can you guys, if you come up with something really that you think might be cool, um, listen, um, comment to me below and let me know because I love hearing your ideas and uh, I love uh, learning new things so anytime you guys uh, I'm gonna turn them sideways like this okay so anytime that you um, I don't know what do you think I should do I mean I could just take the covers and frame and mat them. You know, I, I I, love matting and framing, so that wouldn't bother me one bit. But I'm not really sure. What do you think I should do? Anyway, so let me know, okay? And I won't keep you all day, but um, have a happy weekend wherever you are. And uh, give me a shout out if you uh, feel like you want to. And if you could like and subscribe, I would be so grateful. Thank you very much in advance if you choose to do that today. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little piece of history. I know it looks like something that was done 200 years ago, but it really wasn't. And this kind of artwork, you know what? Aviation doesn't have the money for this kind of artwork anymore. Very few people at all would have the the money and the time for this kind of artwork. But it is absolutely beautiful and watercolored. And you have to look very, very, very carefully. But you will find a tiny initial on each menu of who actually drew the menu. So, um... But, but they hide it. They hide it, like, really, really well. And I'm dying to get this translated because I know it's uh, mostly in French, and I am not fabulous at French. I know it says something about Versailles. It says something about September 1783. And there's some interesting little things here that you can kind of pick out. I, I just wanted you to see how beautiful that is. That is someone's actual handwriting, um, which I appreciate so much because I have taken so many calligraphy courses. I can't even count them and I'm still not there yet. So uh, when you have that kind of penmanship, bravo, right? Anyway, listen, you guys have a great day, okay? Um, remember to take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And whatever you do, shine on. I love you all, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Shine on, people. Bye.